Hello, please come to the Fisherman Cat Fish Channel. Hello guys, teman kami di samar lagi guys. Handline fishermen in North Maluku catch yellowfin tuna using small single-handed boats that go out to sea for one day at a time. Fishermen travel out to sea in groups and locate tuna schools using natural cues such as dolphins or birds, as tuna naturally associate with these. Fishermen then use highly selective handline gear, one man, one line, one hook, one tuna. An average daily catch usually consists of one to three fish. Morotai and Ternate are located in North Maluku and the Yellowfin Tuna Handline Fisheries here received MSC certification in 2021. Mantap, fishermen live with their families in small coastal communities from which fishermen predominantly go fishing in the Malika and Halmahara Seas. All the catch from this fishery is caught using the traditional handline technique, wherein each fisher uses a single line with a hook attached to catch one fish at a time. The majority of boats are manned by just one person and most fishers use rocks and small fish, such as mackerel as bait. The tuna are caught on the hooks and are stored on board, surrounded by eyes to maintain freshness and a high quality. Fishing trips in a typical month can produce up to 25,000 kg of fish, that's about 150,000 cans of tuna per month. However, tuna fishing in Talat is seasonal, fishing only from May to October. Small vessels deploy vertical lines fixed with chum bags and baited hooks. Unlike pole and line methods, hand line fishing does not require the use of a pole or reel, only the strength of the fisher holding the line. Techniques vary across the globe, but each fisher will typically have one line in use off the back of a stationary or anchored boat. Each line has a single hook attached at the end that is baited.
Hand liners generally use natural baits such as squid, chopped pieces of scad mackerel, hair tail and tuna. Natural bait may be replaced by artificial bait or lures. Once the tuna takes the bait and becomes hooked, the fisher hauls in the line by hand. Sometimes a mechanized reel is also used to help organize the line and prevent tangles. Once the tuna has been landed on the boat, it is quickly placed in ice to maintain freshness before the fisher then resets the line in search of the next fish. The handline yellowfin fishery is a small artisanal fishery, accounting for approximately 2% of Indonesia's tuna catch in a typical year. Having said that, more than 13% of the yellowfin tuna is caught using the handline method. Handline tuna fishing is designed for sustainability. The nature of the craft means virtually no bycatch so risks to threaten species like sharks or marine turtles are minimal. The fishing line does not reach the seabed. The nature of the craft means virtually no bycatch so risks to threaten species like sharks or marine turtles are minimal. The fishing line does not reach the seabed. Meaning that this one man, one line, one hook, one fish handline fishing method has a minimal impact on marine habitat. Mantap guys! Mantap guys! More than 100,000 tons of tuna are caught using one-by-one -one catch methodologies in Indonesia each year. Hey, hey! What can you come What can you It leads to virtually zero by catch and ensures that wild tuna will remain available for generations to come. Mantap guys! Mabon guys! Get elema pitayan sini Adi! At the same time, the industry provides vital support to coastal economic development and community welfare.
industry with local ownership embedded in local customs and cultures. An industry that is sustainable by tradition for generations to come. Guys, mantap guys. Oke okay, guys. <laughs>